So welcome, my fellow yellow boxists. I guess that's what you call us. Um, I wanted to show you what I did today. I did some setup for a, uh, a funeral, and this is actually my setup right here. So uh, i show you that. It's literally, you can see, it's kind of set up to move around. Now, I was in a, a particular church I'd never been into before, and what I wanted to do is put this on wheels in case I needed to move last second. You know, I didn't know what the whole rigmarole was, but uh, I have this system set up with a YOLO box and several microphones and several cameras and including a very high-end, uh, uh, if you look right here where my mouse is, this is a high-end recorder. It's Atomos Shogun 7. Now, I'm going to show you several pictures here to describe how I've set this up because it's it's pretty involved, but it's really a handy situation here. So uh, if we go to this one here, now, uh, got wheels down here. I've got the monitor. that That's the monitor recorder. Uh, and I don't recall which pictures. Okay, this will show you the other side of this. Um and what we're doing here is uh, I've got this uh, system put together uh, so that I have a Canon XA11 here. And that's just that's one that I actually control with the zoom handle back here. Um, that one is zooming in to get all the different pictures and stuff that I need um, so that I can do what I need in the way of zooming in and zooming out. Okay, and so I'm kind of I'm doing things here and trying to make sense at the same time. Um, this one right over here is another camera, but it was actually positioned to be on a, uh, a singer. So I didn't have to move any of these shots except that center camera, which is this one right here. Now, that was actually where I had, well, let's, let's see if I can get over to another shot here to where you can kind of see. I have um, the YOLO box is mounted onto a system. It's called the Grab and Go. And then I have a, DR, a Tascam DR60 down here. That's actually got four different plugs in. So it's basically the, the four microphones that I have. There's one here. This is the receiver, a receiver here, one here, and then one over here on the other side. And this, I took advantage of this because I thought, well, you know, I need to put other mics up here. And, and, and so here's an extreme bay, um, hood. And I just slipped it on there. And I honestly, I've never done that before. And I go, wow, that's pretty darn handy. Um, and up here, I've got a, uh, Hollyland 400S, that's a receiver there. It's video transmitter receiver, so the transmitter's on a camera that's up at the front of the, the uh, church so that I can get that reverse angle. That's kind of like my go-to angle when I'm doing this because I want to be able to have a shot to go to all the time, no matter what. That gives me more of a wide shot, but one that may, may not be on all the time. So uh, Then, this camera right over here is, if you can see, okay, yeah, you can see that. That is a, uh, a yeah, not a Canon. No, it's a Sony A6400. Now, it's a 4K camera, which is really cool with the Olabox Ultra because I could take that 4K camera and digitally crop that to give me a second camera. So I have a, uh, on here, I have a wide sh or wider shot of the ceremony, and then I have a tighter shot of the ceremony. So it gives me two cameras I can go to. Those are like, you know, anytime I... I, okay, so I need to. I have that one camera that's panning around and zooming in and zooming out to catch the specials. Well, I have these two to go to anytime I want to, and that's off of one camera. But the Yolo Box Ultra allows me to put that in a mode to where I can have to have two cameras from or two camera angles from one. So one's a wider shot, one's a zoom shot, and it worked out really well on this one. Um, Okay, and so and I've got a really heavy-duty tripod here. Now, there's one thing that I noticed. And generally, I use a very um, sturdy, sturdy tripod, but uh, uh, because it doesn't fit on my dolly, that would be back at, uh, okay, where's that shot? Okay, there. Because it doesn't fit on this dolly, uh, I thought, well, I'm going to use my other tripod. This is a darn sturdy tripod. I mean, altogether, the head and everything is about five to $6,000. But... I took, and let's go back to another shot here, if I can get one where it shows it better. No, okay. Um, you can see that I have these things coming off here, holding that monitor, uh, and another one's holding a camera on this side, and one's on the other side holding a camera. And those are just the magic arms from uh, B&H, uh, it's uh, Manfrotto, I think. Um, but I all got them hooked to that center column that goes down right at the the, the basically there to hold all of this up and it goes straight through 
the problem was when I, I had to learn how to not move the thing very much at all because it vibrated just a touch. And so anything that transmitted, if I moved up here, you know, I was panning the tripod, it would translate into movement into my other two cameras. So my other tripod, which is a Getzo with fiber, uh, carbon fiber legs, that is the better option. If I didn't have to move, put this on wheels and move it around, I wouldn't have done it. Um, I would have used the other one. So, you know, the other one, holy macro, it's very solid. And I can have this system like this, and I don't have to really worry about any, any bobbling around, you know, making the other camera shake when I'm doing things. So um, let's go back to this image here. Uh, just talk about kind of how I've got it set up. So I've got this tripod. It's an O'Connor tripod. Uh, this grab and go unit now, okay, this is something that you probably either knew or didn't know. And I've just really been kind of letting it out lately, but, um, so much of what I do, and I've been in television 38 years and I've done network television, I've done movie stuff. Um, I've always built my own things, my own contraptions. And so many years I'll have people ask me, Hey, where did you get that? And I said, well, I built it. And so, you know, they'd be disappointed. And finally, my son told me that I should put it on Kickstarter, and that started a business uh, of doing this. And I, I got to the point where I said, okay, it seems like every time I make something for myself, somebody wants it. So I did that, and now I'll let the truth out. I manufacture all these different devices. So, like, you've got the Extreme Bay cage that goes on the Yolo box. I made that for myself. Now I sell that on our uh, online store at Cinerails.com. Um, the grab-and-go unit, which actually holds the... Uh, the Yolo box and the camera that was on the front of there. Um, that's another extreme big product. And the funny thing about that though, is last night I had the original and I wish I had it here, but I had the original, um, uh, grab and go unit, which held the, the Yolo box here. And then it held the camera. Uh, and it also has handles here so you can pop it off really quick and just go handheld. Um, but it did not accommodate my DR70, that Tascam DR70, and I needed one. So I came back up to the drawing board, drew that up, extended that out, and uh, put it on one of the high-end 3D printers I have, and there you go. That's uh, it, and it now holds that. So once again, all it is is uh, a necessity coming coming into play, and now you've got an invention and an extra little toy to, to play with, and for me to sell. So um, I think one of these other other photos might expand on some of the things that I've got here. Okay, one of the really important things here, since the, the Yolo box is mounted up with a camera that's on front, um, I'm using this as a monitor to also see what the camera's doing. And I've got a focus control, I'm not a focus control, a zoom control right down here, which is really handy. Slow zooms in, slow zooms out. Um, you know, by the time you're switching from camera to camera to camera, uh, I have four cameras here, but I've got an equivalence of six images I can go to at any one time, and that really keeps things interesting. So that's just another thing that I do. You know, being in television, I know that it's, uh, you know, boredom comes with a single image or nothing much happening, but you get six angles, and one of, it's, you know, one of the cameras is giving me two because I have that option of creating a crop and creating another camera in that, that one camera on the Yellow Box Ultra. I can actually have two additional angles, so... Uh, let's see, what are the other pictures here? They're probably just, uh, different angles of all this stuff. Um, there's that magic arm right there that's holding both this camera and one holding the, uh, Atomos 7, uh, Atom Atomos Shogun 7. And that, that one there, um, when I, I was feeding it out of the Yola box, uh, feeding, uh, the program out of the Yola box into that so I can record high quality um, video without taxing the Yola box in any way at all. I really wanted to have that option. Plus, when I record on that, it is a super fast hard drive, an SSD drive that it goes onto. I can bring it into my studio here and do anything I want to that really quickly without even having to ingest it. I just use it as a hard drive. So uh, that's it. Now, one other thing I wanted to do here, let's see if I can go over here. Oh, no, Roman. Uh, oh, I know what I need to do. Okay, we're full frame now. Uh, I got to go down here and close this out. There we go. And then I got two videos here I want to show you. Um, okay, let's go like this. There we go. Okay, so uh, these are two different videos, and it just gives you a kind of a wraparound video. This one, I'm going to go ahead and play this one. And you can see it. It shows you in three dimensions kind of how that whole setup is and uh, how it looks. It looks pretty funky with those two microphones on top of that hood, but they work really, really well. 
and uh, so there's that one and let's just hold off there so oh okay here you can see the uh, magic arm there with the tripod head uh, so I can pan tilt and all that stuff and then this one the magic arm there that holds up that uh, okay let's go over this one play that one and you probably saw this one if you've already I posted this earlier uh, oh okay let's do that again there we go so that's another wrapper on thought I had one of these that showed the other side but I guess I didn't so anyhow well that is it guys I just wanted to give a quick uh, thought process as to how I came up with this stuff and and give you all kind of a look into it and if you have some creative ideas it helps sometimes you just bounce off what another guy says and you come up with something even better so I'm always interested in hearing what people are doing out there because I love making better systems and of course you know I made half of this system myself with 3D printing. All right. Well, hey, have a great day. If you have any questions, feel free to type them in here. I'm always willing to help, and I'd love to help you get better. And at the same point in time, I realize when I do that, it helps me throughout process getting better myself. So, hey, it's a win-win situation. All right, guys. Take care.